To the jury that I respect, please allow me in this opportunity to present my argument about our motion today, as well as provide reasons and evidence that is strong enough to refute my argument as a speaker one. Our motion today is advantage and disadvantage of blended learning. Before the term blended learning was widely known to the public, the term a learning, the term e-learning had already boomed in the world of education. E-learning is a digital-based distant learning method by utilizing the internet network and web server as the main infrastructure. Several universities in Indonesia such as UI and ITB have implemented these learning methods. Advances in technology and the emergence of many learning management systems have encouraged online learning to develop rapidly. How about blended learning? Even though e-learning has grown so rapidly, face-to-face direct learning methods are still needed by students. Students with teachers, students with students, they are still we have the experience of interacting with each other. Blended learning is a mixed learning method that combines direct synchronous learning methods and independent or indirect learning methods that can be done anytime or asynchronous. The blended learning method is believed is believed to the best solutions when learning online as it is today, according to Allen and Yur in Bong and Graham, 2006. Blended learning is combinations of learning strategies, combinations of learning methods, and then combinations of online learning with face-to-face learning. By combining various strategies, methods, and teaching techniques in a blended learning, it is hoped that it can help students achieve the learning targets that have been set optimally. Blended learning has three components consisting of online learning, face-to-face learning, and independent learning. In applying the blended learning method, there are steps that must be taken by both schools or teachers. This is so that learning continues to run smoothly and can achieve its goals. Don't let the blended learning model be done carelessly so that the learning process become messy. The first step that must be taken by the school is to de- is to identify the urgency in implementing learning using the blended learning method and registering the facilities and infrastructure needed in the application of this mixed learning method. The second step is design learning techniques using the blended learning method. This includes determining what platforms will be used to support asynchronous or indirect learning and what application to support face-to-face learning if students really cannot go to school to avoid the spread because of coronavirus. The last step is to socialize the policies taken to students and parents. This is very important because blended learning for ordinary people is foreign thing. Meanwhile, in this implementation, blended learning doesn't only require the readiness of teachers and infrastructure, but also the readiness of students and their parents. If needed, the school can make a simulation beforehand to find out what obstacles students are experienced so that a solutions can be found immediately. Parental involvement is generally required for basic learning levels for students at a higher level such as high school or college. Preparation is more focused on students' readiness. The advantage of extended learning include, first, can be more flexible. The first benefit of, of blended learning is that students don't have to come to class every day. Teachers and students can make an agreement on the portion of online, independent, and face-to-face learning according to the needs and conditions of the students. The length and time of learning are also not binding so that teachers and students can make an agreement that synchronous learning is carried out and what applications or media will be used in synchronous and asynchronous learning. Second, save cost and time. The blended learning model allows teachers and students to save more cost and time. Teachers can save on paper, paper use because it can be done paperless. Worksheet, handout, and other learning support that previously had to be printed or photocopied. Now, just upload the files and students can download them on their cell phones or their laptops. Teachers and students can also save time because they don't have to pay to come to school. Third is the delivery of more interactive material. The concept of blended learning allows teachers to deliver subject matter present via the internet and made it such a way it is more interesting and interactive so that it is more detailed and attracts the attentions of students. Smart teachers become more creative because they can design learning media that can be used according to the way each other students learn. Example of interactive media there are interactive videos, podcasts, using 
PowerPoint to presentations, resume materi with Canva and materials ebook ebook format. The last one is more effective and efficient. Each student has a different character and way of learning from one to another. There are students who are comfortable studying in the morning, afternoon, or even studying at night while relaxing and listening to their favorite music. There are also students who are more comfortable studying in their own room, in a coffee shop, or maybe in their classroom. That way, you see this blended learning method, students can arrange their own time and pace to study. Learning using a well-designed blended learning method can not only help students achieve learning targets, but can also form independent and responsible students. The drawback of the blended learning model is the dependence of the internet and electronic media. For students who have limitations in, inadu- in inadequate facilities and infrastructure, of course, it will be so difficult to access learning. Not to mention if there are students who are technological story stuttering, of course, they will be so confused if they are not quite directly. The skills of using technology must be maximized by both students and teachers so that independent learning can also be applied properly. What kind of universities are suitable for doing this blended learning? First, is the difficulty of creating interesting e-learning content. Second, have problem with the capacity of lectures on and rooms. Third, students whose time is limited or employers. Fourth, the technologically literacy of lectures and students is quite good. Five, students and lectures have a reliable internet connection. The last one is the cost of holding lecture is more is more cheaper. Blended learning provides the best opportunity to learn from classroom transition to learning. Blended learning involves classroom or face-to-face and online learning. This method is very effective to effective for adding efficiency to classroom instruction and enabling increased discussions or review or inform of information outside the classroom. After analyzing several aspects that I have described it before previously, I declare that I agree with these motions today because from the side of students and teachers, using this method is very profitable and not hard to apply it. So there are many arguments that I convey today. If there are in any mistakes in my speech, please apologize me. Thank you for the time given to, give, give to me in this opportunity.